Resuming debate, the Honourable Member for Hastings, Lennox and Addington. Thank you very much, Speaker. Uh, it's such an honour to be able to speak, uh, to rise today in the House to speak about this, uh, this great motion uh, that my colleague uh, from King Vaughan has put forward. I couldn't be more proud of, uh, of the fact that she's done this. It is so well deserved and long overdue uh, that we make uh, the month of June the National Italian Heritage Month. Um, Italians have a rich heritage in, in Canada, going right back to the original European uh, arrivals of, of, with uh, Giovanni Cabato that, that uh, discovered, uh, or the, sorry, not discovered, but arrived in, uh, in Leuvenland in, in, uh, in 1497 uh, and uh, claimed it for England uh, at that time. Um, and then uh, uh, Giovanni um, uh, Veranzano, uh, had also uh, come to, to Canada uh, to, and, and explore the uh, Atlantic Canada uh, for the French. Uh, so we've had a rich history of, of uh, ex exploration within Canada, of helping to open up the frontiers to settle uh, this great country that we have today. Uh, they served in senior positions uh, uh, for New France and for the Jesuits all through the, 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 the colony at that time. Um, and, uh, you know, that, that, that have made our, our country great. Uh, we, even, uh, we even had um, an Italian contingent uh, that fought for the British in the War of 1812. Uh, so, so some great history that I gleaned from the Canadian Encyclopedia that I remember reading as a kid uh, and, and just being so proud of the heritage uh, that comes from my father. Um, Italians, uh, you know, there were, there were two waves of Italians that, that, that came to Canada. Uh, the first wave from 1900 uh, to the First World War, uh, where about 120,000 Italians uh, came to our country. Uh, they, they, they held uh, a very broad range of different positions, uh, from craftsmen to artists to musicians to teachers, uh, etc. The second wave came between 1950 and 1970. That was about 500,000 uh, Italians that came to this great country at that time. Um, and, you know, through, so, so we had uh, this, 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 uh, this has led now to a, the census in 2006 declaring that there's now 1.4 million uh, Itali uh, uh, Canadians of Italian descent uh, that, are, that are now part of this, uh, the great mosaic of, of, of Canada. 75% um, of those Italians came from southern Italy, uh, which uh, is where my father is originally from, from Calabria, from a, from a tiny little, and this won't surprise anyone, very small rural village on the side of a, of a cliff in Calabria. Calabria. Um, I, uh, actually, Mr. Speaker, I've just been very aware, if I could please get uh, consent uh, to share my time uh, with uh, uh, Steverton, uh, uh, sorry? Steverton. Steverton, Steverton, Steverton Richmond East. <laughs> Does the Honourable Member for uh, Hastings, Lennox and Editing have the unanimous consent of the House to uh, divide his time equally? Yes? Agreed? Agreed and so ordered. The Honourable Member for Thank Hastings, you. Lennox and Addington. Grazie, Mr. Uh, <laughs> Mr. Speaker. <laughs> um, so so I, I'd like to tell the story about my, about my father uh, coming to Canada in 1953. And uh, he, he, he still shares this story today with anyone who will listen. Uh, <laughs> and uh, so here we are in 1953. It's after the Second World War. It's a very desperate situation where, where, where food and, and fuel and clothing are very scarce. Uh, it's, it, it, and and uh, many people are looking at, you know, how the future looked very bleak uh, for so many Italians at that time. Uh, CP Rail came to the small town of Savuto di, di Cleto. One minute left? Really? Wow, okay. Uh, and, and so my, my, my family comes over uh, in 1953, and my father arrives. He, I mean, in Italy, he's wearing a T-shirt and shorts. Southern Italy, there's, there's no snow, there's no cold weather. Uh, and they arrive in Montreal in January. They get on a train, and uh, he says, all I saw was snow, ice, and bush until we arrived in this tiny little town in northern Ontario called Horn Pain. He said, when we heard about Canada and southern Italy, you know, he said, yeah, sure, they said it was cold, you know, but not that cold, right? I mean, how cold can it really be? And so, they, so, so he says, you know, here we thought we were going to heaven, 
in, in Canada. And he said, it turned out when I arrived in Horn Payne, I thought I'd gone to frozen purgatory. <laughs> and so, so they, but they were tough, resilient. They, they pushed forward, they survived. Uh, and, and they're very prosperous today, and I am so proud to be the prodigy to be able to stand in this house uh, today to represent uh, my Italian heritage. Thank you so much, Mr. Speaker.